Hello YouTube, this is Dan, and today we're going to talk about this Lenovo. It's a Idea Center B320, and I had a hard time trying to figure out where the restore partition was on this specific computer. This is a Windows 7 computer, but I believe it works the same as Windows 8. So uh, basically, you're going to press the F2 key really fast when you boot up the computer, and there's no indication when you boot it up that this is the correct key, but this is correct. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on, and I'll show you how fast I press the F2, and we'll go from there. You can see there, it doesn't say anything about F2. Okay, once you get to this section, uh, where it says Windows is loading files, it should bring you to a nice um, background. So here we go. There we are. This is the Lenovo reinstallation. Okay, from here, you can see you have a couple things you can do. Uh, one key recovery, that's what we're gonna do. Driver and application installation. Now this I haven't used, but I would imagine that if you loaded this by hand and not through the, the uh, recovery, you could go here and get the drivers and then system set up. This is for networks. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna going to go ahead with our mouse and click on one key recovery okay so there's a couple options here which is restore from initial backup which is what we're going to do restore from user backup uh, the re restore from user backup would be if you created a restore point that you just didn't want to get away from such as if you loaded up the computer and, and loaded specific software right after installation and you were sure you had no type of viruses so, but we're not going to do that today. What we're going to do is restore from initial backup. And we're going to click next. And this is basically going to tell you that it's coming from a hidden partition, initial backup, and it says do not turn off the computer during this process, otherwise the restoration may not be complete. And we're going to press start. And this is the last time you have to say yes or no. Um, so we're going to go ahead and press yes, and we're going to, we're going to go ahead and let it complete. Okay, you can see here now the uh, one key recovery is complete and all you have to do from here is press the OK button. So let's see what it does. Okay, it's going to ask us to reboot. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we've done our restore and we've told it to go ahead and reboot and so here's what it's going to do. I'm going to go ahead and go into normal and this should bring us right into our Windows original factory restore. Alright, so it's going to set up uh, the computer for the first time, which is the normal installation for Windows when you do a restore. I'm going to pause the video now and I'll come back in just a moment. Okay, so it looks like it was successful with this going through our normal um, recovery, you know, where you put in your, your username and, and things of that nature. So I'm going to continue from here. If you've loaded Windows, you'll, you'll have recognized any of these things. This is the normal installation where you choose the time and date and what have you. So I'm going to pause the video now, continue this part, and I'll pick it up whenever we get into Windows. All right, so uh, YouTube, we've successfully restored the computer. You can see this is the first screen you would see when the computer was new. And from here, you can go ahead and install the software that you want. But the computer is completely restored back to its original factory state. I hope this video has been informative to you. If you did like this video, put a thumbs up and make a comment in the comment sections below. And keep an eye out for more videos on this channel. Have a good day, YouTube.